Hey everybody, it's David. So finally, Game of Thrones Season 6 is about to kick off this weekend on HBO. And I thought it'd be fun to talk about some of the science behind George R.R. R. Martin's modern classic. So three years ago, on April Fool's Day, a group of astronomers actually posted a paper online trying to answer this question. So on April Fool's Day, there's kind of tradition in astronomy that you'll find papers posted online that take a bit of fun and look at the science of zombies or the science of superheroes. So the title of the paper is Winter is Coming and it concerns itself with trying to explain why is it on Westeros that you have these very unpredictable and sometimes very long winters. Now as someone who's spent about six years now in the northeast of the US, I can definitely sympathize with the feeling of trepidation about a long impending winter. Now the paper is very tongue in cheek, there's a lot of in jokes to Game of Thrones. I'll put the link down in the description, it's short, it's easy to read and I think you'll enjoy it if you're a Game of Thrones fan. So the solution the authors come up with to explain the long winters is instead of assuming that the planet orbits a single star like the Earth does around the Sun, that this planet orbits two stars two stars very close together, and that's called a circumbinary planet. Now, circumbinary planets are a well-trodden road for the fantasy genre, perhaps most famously in the original Star Wars film where Luke Skywalker looks up at the sky and he sees two stars coming down in the sunset. So essentially what's happening is the amount of heat that the planet receives not only depends on how close the planet is away from the star, but it also depends on the orbit of the two inner stars with respect to one another as well. Now if you make the orbit of the planet and even the orbit of that little binary eccentric, elliptical, that gives you a huge amount of freedom to explain a lot of climatic variations. So by using an eccentric planet around an eccentric binary, the authors are able to make this planet, treat it as a black body, have a temperature swing of about 25 degrees Celsius. Now if the Earth were a black body, which is what the authors assume in this paper, it would experience a temperature swing about five times less than that. So this gives you a sense as to how much you can make the climate swing here. And in this model, each winter is not the same. Some winters are five degrees colder than other winters. Moreover, in this model, Westerosi has an orbital period, which is one year of 700 days, but sometimes the winters last as short as 600 days, and other times they can last up to 850 days. Okay, so you're getting winters on Westerosi now, which vary in severity and length considerably, and it would be very difficult for the people on the surface to predict exactly what the next winter is going to look like. So the authors point out that it might be tempting to think that a relatively mild summer might lead to a relatively balmy winter, but that doesn't turn out to be the case. But the authors do find a way to predict when a particularly severe winter is about to come, and it turns out that when a summer experiences a local minima, which means that the temperatures just drops a little bit compared to the previous trend, then you can expect a particularly severe winter to about to come. Winter is coming. So this was a simple and fun paper, but you can actually go a lot further. You could do proper climate forcing, you could do a 3D circulation model, you could have some tilt to the planet's orbit, and you could even put Westerosi as being a moon of another planet, which would give you a lot more freedom to make the climate vary dramatically. As far as I'm aware, George R. R. Martin has not said that Westerosi is a circumbinary planet. But hopefully you've learned what a circumbinary planet is today, and it's made you think about how wild extrasolar planet climates can really be. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you watch the Game of Thrones Season 6 premiere this weekend. I will certainly be watching. If you have any questions on this video or any others, just add a comment below and we will try to respond to you. If you like this video, then please make sure you click the subscribe button below to get this and all the other videos from Cool Worlds Laboratory. Thanks for watching again and stay curious.